We've looked at types before, and now we're using type parameters. They're always inside of angle brackets or diamond brackets here. You can have more than one type parameter. You'd put the other one right next to this in the diamond brackets. Node used this type for its data. Now in your test, where you're actually using your link list, I declared a list without actually specifying a type. There's no errors here. I can run this code. I'm going to add some stuff. Notice I add all strings here. And let's run the code and see what we get. So I got my list out of four items. Here's my list with the four items. And then I get the item at the beginning. Now, I have to say that I know it's a string because I put four strings in there. You can see that up here, line 24, 25. However, before this code is ran, before runtime, NetBeans or Java doesn't know that I put strings in there. And so you cannot declare a string to be the element you're going to access in your list. So this general type is called object. Uh, every object is a subclass of this object class and we get the initial element and then I printed it out oh it's oatmeal so that was as expected I got the class and it was a string as expected and then how did that print I did if o is instance of string then I print we have a string so you can absolutely use your linked list like this if you do Again, I did not specify a type anywhere up here. I can put other types of objects into this list. So I put in a number, 42. Now I put it in at the beginning in position zero so that you can see O is 42. Remember O is the element at position zero. I got the class and it's an integer. And I did the same instance of, just put integer here. And there we go. So you can store any object into your list if you want to and the good news is you can put anything you want in but the bad news is you're going to have to either cast uh, to a specific class later after you if you want to operate on it if you're just going to do the two string meaning print it out every class has two string so you don't i didn't have to do any additional code down here uh, to print out o so next, we're going to actually specify a type for this list, and that's going to disallow adding things that are not of that type.